A golden ticket attack involves forging Kerberos ticket granting tickets using a compromised Curb TGT account hash. The Curb TGT account is a special built-in service account in Active Directory that acts as the service account for the key distribution center itself. This account's password hash is used to encrypt and sign all ticket granting tickets in the domain. The Curb TGT hash is the cryptographic hash of the Curb TGT account's password. Attackers who obtain this hash can use it to create forged ticket granting tickets TGTs that are trusted by all domain controllers. To understand golden ticket attacks, it helps to see how Kerberos authentication normally works. In the standard Kerberos flow, step one involves the user sending an ASREC authentication server request with their credentials. And step two returns an ASREP authentication server reply containing a ticket granting ticket from the authentication server. This ticket granting ticket signed by the curb TGT account is then used in steps three and four to request service tickets from the ticket granting server, which ultimately allows access to target services in step five and six. The security of this entire flow relies on the integrity of the Curb TGT account and its secret key. Think of the Curb TGT account as the master key to your entire authentication system. When attackers obtain this key, they can create their own golden tickets that provide unlimited access to any resource in the domain. These forged tickets are cryptographically valid and indistinguishable from legitimate tickets making them extremely difficult to detect. The term golden reflects the supreme value of these tickets. Unlike stolen user credentials that might be changed or disabled, golden tickets provide persistent access that survives password resets, account lockouts, and even user account deletions. They represent the ultimate price for an attacker seeking long-term persistence in an active directory environment. Golden ticket attacks are post-exploitation techniques, meaning attackers must already have domain administrator or equivalent privileges to extract the curb TGT hash. This is a crucial point for CISSP candidates to understand. Golden tickets aren't an initial attack vector. They are a persistent mechanism used after successful compromise. As shown in the Kerberos authentication flow, both the authentication server and the ticket granting server are part of the key distribution center, KDC, and the curb TGT account is the cryptographic backbone of the system. Its password hash is used to sign all TGTs, making it the ultimate target for attackers seeking to forge golden tickets. Attackers typically reach domain admin level through several paths. Phishing campaigns remain the most common method, especially when targeting users with administrative privileges. Once inside the network, attackers use tools to steal passwords and security tokens, gradually gaining more access until they reach the domain admin level. They also exploit unpatched vulnerabilities in systems. DC sync attacks using tools like Mimikatz are particularly effective because they request password data directly from domain controllers using normal replication processes that appear legitimate. Once attackers have this level of access, they can begin the golden ticket creation process. Now let's see how golden ticket attacks work. Before creating golden tickets, attackers must collect essential domain information. They need the domain's fully qualified domain name, which identifies the target domain. The domain security identifier acts as a unique fingerprint, while the curb TGT hash is the cryptographic key that validates the forged tickets. Attackers can impersonate any user identity, including accounts that don't exist in Active Directory. The ticket creation process gives attackers complete control over forged ticket content. They can create custom ticket granting tickets with any permissions setting validity periods for years instead of normal eight to 10 hours. Attackers can include themselves in any security group, including domain admins. 
the forged ticket is signed using the stolen curb TGT hash, making it appear legitimate to all domain systems. Once golden tickets are created, they are injected into the attacker's authentication system. In the standard Kerberos flow, steps 1 and 2 involve the user requesting and receiving a TGT from the authentication server through ASREC and ASREP messages. In a golden ticket attack, the adversary completely bypasses step 1 and 2 by forging their own TGT using the stolen curb TGT hash. This allows them to jump directly to step 3, presenting what appears to be a legitimate ticket granting ticket to the ticket granting server in the TGS REC message, then receiving service tickets in step 4 and ultimately accessing target services in step 5 and 6 all without ever needing to authenticate legitimately. Attackers then have unlimited domain access without contacting the key distribution center for initial authentication. They can access any domain resource, create or modify user accounts, install backdoors for persistence, and steal sensitive data throughout the domain. This table highlights how a golden ticket attack disrupts the normal Kerberos authentication process. Instead of legitimately requesting a ticket granting ticket in steps 1 and 2, the attacker forges a TGT using a stolen curb TGT hash, then uses it to obtain service tickets for any resource. From step 3 onwards, the attacker's actions are indistinguishable from those of a legitimate user, making golden ticket attacks extremely difficult to detect. I hope this overview helps you understand how golden ticket attacks work and why defending against them is so critical for enterprise security. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next cybersecurity video.